come thanking you. Thank you for the day, Father. We want to go in tonight and have a great discussion on this panel, Father. We want the word to go out and touch someone out there tonight. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Get your Bibles ready because this is Bible study. Whether you're at home or in the building, you ought to have your word so that you can follow along with us. We'll be utilizing the first Chronicles chapter number 29. We're going to focus on verses 10 through 16. But I do want to go ahead and have us to take a look at from verses 1 through 10. And so what we see in the text tonight, and we're going to use for a topic, use what you got to give God glory. Amen. And what you see in the text tonight, pretty much from verses 1 uh, to 10, is initially you see David addressing yes, his son sir. Solomon. Yes, right. Uh, he's doing it in the presence of the congregation. And he's really telling Solomon that it's only by God's grace that he has been able to accomplish all the things that he has. And he's at a point through his attitude of gratitude that he wants to give back to God. And in the course of him doing that, uh, Reverend Nichols, he challenges uh, the chief men of the church to lead and follow his example to give back to God. And in the course of him doing that, they in turn, Reverend Lee, accept his challenge. They all collectively began to give back to God, and they turn into a rejoicing party, which brings us to verse 10 where David, as a, result of, as a result of everybody coming together to, to bring glory to God's name collectively, David begins to bless the Lord through prayer. Amen. And some of the things that we want to bring out for we go into the meat of the lesson tonight, which is verse uh, 14 through 16, we want to do our um, verse 10 through 13 for just a few minutes because I believe it has a heavy weight on how David wanted the congregation and his leaders to perceive him after he leaves office. That's right. That's right. So his, his acknowledgement of God was to reinstate to them his gratitude and his thanksgiving for what God had done for him, that David had gone through some awesome things, that God had showed himself faithful, and so, in a sense, he had been doing these things, and we can imagine David for just a few minutes being that man of God that we read about in Psalms. He talks about God in his personal uh, relationship, I believe, when I see it. And so, David starts out with blessing God for before all the, the congregation. David said, and blessed be thou, Lord God of Israel, our father forever and ever. And that tells us there that, that not only does David see God as his God, which he was, but he's also sharing the love of God to his congregation that, Lord, God is not going to leave you. He is not just with me only. I, I, I like that, Reverend Lee. I, I would like you to add some on that. I, you know, we as, as Christians, as followers of Christ, what does the love of Christ motivate us to do? It motivates us to do right. It motivates us to go out and help other people. And when we see here, David, like it says, now David said, hey, Lord, it's all yours. You're the only one that gives riches. When you look at that, you want to give back to the Lord. You want to do right by him. You want to just go out and touch. And this is what they're doing here in, this, um, in, in 29. They're looking at and giving back. And you, you're the one that gives the ability and everything else. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. And that's what God uh, needs to see from us as believers, as followers of Christ. You know, we were so quick to talk about what we've accomplished. Right, but right. David here shows us that we accomplished nothing without, without God. Without that's God. right. And everything Amen. we have belongs to God. Uh, he goes on in verse number 11. He says, thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. That is, God possessed all greatness and immensity. And, and, and God is superior over everything that we can possibly possess. Correct. So if we have God, we have more than enough. Uh, I like to... Uh, 
I was reading this and I was thinking about <laughs> an old movie I used to watch. Come on, come on. Where they say you can use what you got yes, to sir. get what you want. Yes, sir. And so I realized if I have God, then I have everything. Correct. And so I should have everything because I do have God. And that ought to make me give him some glory. Yes, and that's what I believe that that's what David was showing everybody on his way out of the leadership is that not only has he been great for me, but he is also going to show your, his power and his glory to them right. even after he leaves. Because you know what happens when a leader has been in office for so long mm -hmm. and they've been so just powerful oh, yeah. in the sight of man that we think that God can only do that with him That's right. or with her. But David is laying the foundation, I believe, that he wants his people and Solomon to know, like we said earlier, using his life as an example. Right. Even though it wasn't perfect, he wanted to come out with the power of God being first, the power of the glory of God being yeah, first, yeah. the victory that God had given him over and over and over again, being in the forefront right. of his leadership, that it wasn't me. It was God's glory. Correct. Everything that you remember me to have and done and all of that, it is because of our Lord God, Jehovah. Listen to these notes right here. Now, we need to see ourselves as just stewards over God's things. God set up man upon earth to sort out and tend the garden. Man sought to rule over the garden. Man sought to rule over the earth. God just placed us here to take care of it. Wow. Wow. He brings us here to take care That's of us. That's a good point. Take care of things. And we, we, we think we can run things. And God then gave us this. And all we have to do is be good stewards over what he gave us and take care of it. That's right. And, and I like that David, and I know we got to move on, but I like that David, you mentioned the victory mm. that he had given David over and over and over again. Yes. Yes. Some of us, despite the victories mm -hmm. that God has given us in our lives Correct. over and, and over and over my again, God, we God. still don't want to bless his name. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All he wants us to do is lift give up his name glory. to give him the glory, him the, glory. the honor, and the dominion that he deserves. Mm -hmm. But there are you and I. We, we, we've been brought over so many mountains, yeah. brought through so many valleys, and can, we, can't, we can't even just give him the blessing that he deserves. That he and he moves on in that text. He says, for all that is in heaven and in earth. So he's saying not only everything he's doing down here. Correct. In heaven too. In Correct. Heaven as well. That is, it is going to be set for us to inherit the riches of God's glory and honor when we leave here. That this is not the end. That what he has given him on earth is going to be given to you in heaven. That's right. Amen. And all that we say, like, it, it goes back to what I said, Reverend Reagan. It all belongs to you. That's right. We were just taking care of, we, we just take care of it. We have done a bad job. We're only giving you back, Lord, that which is real, your, yours to begin with. You've never really, really given God anything. I like that you're still on this all. <laughs> Give it all, Give man. All. Because, see, and then David, if you notice what he's doing in the text, he want to make sure that he don't leave nothing out. Right. He talked yes, about right. the victory. He talked about heaven and earth. Then he breaks it down further for us. He says, both riches and honor come from thee. From that means every penny you got <laughs> Give come it from all. God. And the way we can bless him back is if he gives us something, we ought to be giving some of them pennies back to God. You right. Some folks is getting blessed every day. Correct. Every day. And won't even give them half a dollar. You but David breaks it down and makes it plain for us and says that even the money, the honor, and thou reignest over all. So God is the one who gives us all of these things. Magically. Who, is, who am I, Lord, that I could give you? To me, giving is one of the most tremendous privileges yeah. to give to God that allow, he allows us. Giving. We give him what he gives us breath to breathe every morning. We That's wake right. up. We get in our cars. We go to work. Come on, man. He giving us what we need, but Free. we can't stand and give him five, ten minutes in prayer. Right. So he says, I know who God is. Uh -huh. 
uh -huh. in those previous verses that we just briefly went over. They're very, very heavy, you all. So you need to read them for yourself to get yes, what we got yes. out of it. But he's saying, I know God is real. I know he is the great I am, that he is the lily of the valley. That's he right. is the bright and morning star. And soon he will send us the Messiah. He said, but who am I? Who am I? I got to ask the question tonight for ourselves. Who are we? And David knows that God knows all his children. Yes. That he put the hairs in our heads. Come on. Come on. He knows the number thereof. Oh. He said, but even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So you don't have to wonder about who you are, but you need to know who you are in the Lord. And, and I want to add this, too. As I'm looking at this text and I'm saying, he's saying, but who am I? Mm -hmm. Who am I, really? Nobody without God. Nobody right. without See, God. I think that David in his sanctified imagination, Reverend, uh -huh. he was looking at, we're just dust and ashes. That's it. Who are we to declare or claim anything here on earth without God? We're just a sinful creature, unworthy to receive anything from God, but yet still he blesses us. He blesses us with his grace. And he includes his people. Not only who am I, but who are, who are we yeah, who without are we? God? Without God. Nothing. That's right. God is so good. For we all strangers before the south sovereign, as we're all our fathers. Our days on this earth are as a shadow, and there is none that is abiding. None. Now, if we're looking at all what David has done and what he's trying to get done, and we're looking at just giving back, and I, y'all, I'm still on give it all. Come on. I'm still on give it That's all. That's what we're supposed to stay in. I'm still on give it all, because if you don't give it to him, where are you going to be? He gave you everything. He gave you all the riches and all the glories. I heard, once heard pastor tell me, I ain't got to run after the money. The money going to run after me. So he giving it all. And that's what I like about it. Listen, it says here in that same text that we should be able to offer so willingly. Uh-huh. And should nobody have to make us, Reverend Nichols, give back to God. If we just look back over our lives uh -huh. and see where he has brought us from, all the victories that he has given us, then it ought to encourage us to give to him. Shouldn't nobody have to beg us to give to God? Shouldn't nobody have to turn the air conditioner up real high for <laughs> us to get excited and, and want to do something for God? We ought to just always want to give back to God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. What kind of people are we? Are we a faithful people? Come on. Talk about are it. Are we kingdom people? <laughs> what a question. On a, a kingdom building ministry? I believe that in, in my life, and, and it should and it, I try to represent a life of faith. Amen. That God is real, that God is the creator of all things, and he's all-knowing and all of that. And Philippians 2.12 says it like this. He said, wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, mm -hmm. but now much more in my absence. Yeah. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And I think that when David said these words uh -huh. about who am I mm -hmm. and, and who are my people, C come on. he wanted people to kind of take a step back and think about who am I? Who am I? Because they've been identifying themselves through David. That's right. All of these years. <laughs> but he had to tell them, you're going to have to step back for a minute and find out that you are God's people you got to be faithful. You have to be kingdom building people. You are a royal priesthood. That's right. A holy nation unto God. And I, let me just interject this too. Go ahead, go ahead. A royal priesthood. See, one of the ways that we operate in the royal priesthood is by giving back to God. Yeah. See, yeah. giving off making offering to God was a sign of the priests back in the day. And so we are all a part of royal priesthood, and the way that the folks who don't know Christ ought to be able to identify us is because they see us constantly making offerings right, to right, God. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Now, look, I, 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 Facebook, I got to give you something right here. I got something that's real powerful in my notes. Lord, you know that what I gave. Lord, you know my heart. You know, Lord, I gave it to you. Out of the uprightness of my heart, willingly. Mm -hmm. 
Willingly. There go that word again, y'all. Willingly. Willingly. And now I have the joy of seeing all these people do the same thing. Now, look at here. If I'm giving willing, and everybody out here going to give willing into it, we on. all on the same page, we all in the same boat, then what you think God going to do for us? Come on. What you think going to do Our for us? Our cup going to run it over. Roll it over. The door is going to run open, pour open. You ain't, Facebook, you ain't got to run after no money. The money going to run after you. You ain't got to run after no blessing. The blessing is going to run after you. Just stay for it. Give it to him all. I'm still on all. I'm still on all. Reverend Nichols, I got a question. I, David is spending a lot of time talking about who we are. Uh-huh. And then he goes on in verse 15, mm -hmm. and he says that we are strangers mm -hmm. before thee. As were our fathers. Our, our uh, time here is just for a little while. Just for a little while. It's just for a little while. The things that we possess are not going to be things that we can take back with us. Amen. We are just renting. Renting. On a lease. Short lease. On a short lease. That so we don't even know when it is. He and says, you, for we are strangers before thee and sojourners, as were all our fathers. On days, on our days on the earth as a shadow. And then, I, you know, I found out, uh, digging a little bit deeper, that back in the day, when a, a group of people would enter into a state uh -huh. mm -hmm. that they were not citizens of, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that they had to get permission mm -hmm. uh, to stay there yeah. for a little while. For a little while. And so to in ensure that they would not be overtaken. <laughs> Just a little while by anything of, you know, grief or, or any kind of wrongdoing, they would check in with the head of state. There you go. And let them know that they were staying there, where they were and all of that. And that is what David was trying to tell us and tell them, that we are just pilgrims traveling Come through on. this life and land that God you know, has created. This world is not my home. I'm just traveling through. That's right. And, you know, he even made reference here. I look at this when he says we were strangers before thee. Um, they were, the children of Israel, were in the possession of the land of Canaan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They held it not by their own right, though, but as the Lord. As the Lord. And, and so I think it's important that we remember as we're here that it's God who's in control, and we only here just for a short period of time. Mm -hmm. And it. so as long as we're here... We need to be making sure we're doing everything we can to bless the name of God for the good things that he has done for us and our family. Boy, you talking. Amen. Amen. And you look at it. You know, I, you know, I say I still, I'm, all, I'm still on, got to give it all. Oh, Lord. Stay oh right God, there. Of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, our father, keeping this forever yes. in the image of our thoughts, of his heart, thy people, and preparing their heart unto thee. And give unto Solomon, my son, a complete heart to keep thy commandments and thy testimony and thy statutes and to do all things and build the palace. To do all that things. That means work together. Come on. Work and together. Build and, and build. And, and just give it all. Lord have mercy. Give it all. Give it all. And give what it what all. I like is, you know, when they, when they decided to do that, uh -huh. that made David rejoice. And so that's where we are as a church. If we can all continue to work together yes. to build for God, then we will rejoice in the name of God and what the victory he's given us through the church. Man, it's so heated right here. We, we, James 4 and 14 comes to mind when it says, you do not know the least thing about what may happen in your life tomorrow. What is secure in your life? He said, you are merely a vapor, like a puff of smoke, of a wisp of steam from a cooking pot that is visible for a little while and then vanishes into the air. See, I'm only required to give what little I have. He uh -huh. didn't ask for all of it, That's right. That's even right. though you've been saying all, all night. Uh -huh. I've got to give it all. God didn't ask for all of it. i got to give it all. But I should <laughs> count it a blessing. And a favor that God will accept what I have to give to him or what I must give. Because our days on this earth are short and it's like a shadow. I, I, it's not going to be for long. 
I want to just interject this before I lose my thought. You know, David, we didn't spend a lot of time talking about the gold and the silver and the wood that he wants to give to build the temple. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we have a pocket that we want to give out of, and then we got another pocket with some money in there that we don't want to give out of. Mm -hmm. Right. But notice because David truly loved God. Correct. (laughs) He 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 was grateful to God for everything that he had done. It, it says that David went into his private selection. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. And so he was trying to actually teach his son as he was talking to Solomon. He went into his private selection. He went into what he had earned, what he had saved up, and he was willing to do that, knowing that he wasn't going to be here long, knowing that he couldn't take it with him, mm-hmm. and most of all, knowing that he had got all of that from God in the first place. In the first place. Now. I just want to do this last part. This is some good meat, y'all. Come on, man. Now, bless the Lord your God, all the congregation. Bless the Lord your God of their father. Bow down their heads and worship the Lord and the king with them. And they sacrificed unto the Lord their offering. Yes, sir. Burnt offering unto the Lord and then married that day. After even thousands of bullocks and thousands of rams and thousands of lambs, they drink offering. There you go. All of this. I told you, give it all. Give it all. <laughs> give it all. <laughs> they giving all this. They, they sacrifice it. If we just could just all come together, do what God is asking us to do and make the sacrifice as we say it, what you going to do? What he give you? What you gonna do? Mm-hmm. Another thing that uh, you brought out, he talked. We never talked about what David gave, but can I give you some numbers? Come, come on, come, come on, on, give us some. About I gave you some. His, his giving because he said, "The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof; the world and they that dwell in it." He set his congregation up with the the glory and the honor and the praise yeah, yeah, that yeah. God deserves. Right. And that and, and he, he the honor that he deserves because he wanted them to see that without God I wouldn't have anything. And all that is in here is the Lord's. And I'm not gonna be able to take anything with me. So guess what? I need to take a step back and say, Lord, this is yours. That's right, right. right. This That's is right. yours. And this is how much David contributes. Cause they broke it down Come on. in in the scripture here. But it says uh five hundred and forty seven million 500,000 of gold, that's right. that was the, that's for the pound, but for U.S. dollars worth is 758 million, wow. 616 in seal in gold. Silver is worth 475 million, 135,000 wow. dollars. And David's, pro- now that's a public treasure. Now, from David's private sources, come on, come on. he gave 22,758,480. Mm. This wasn't all. Of, he just gave that portion to the Lord above what he was supposed to give. That was gold. In silver, he gave 3,318,944. Wow. Then, yeah. because David did so much, because he gave so much of uh-huh. his own, uh-huh. this is what, what happened. The assembly of the rulers uh-huh. did. Come on. Come because on. it motivated them and it touched them because they knew how rich their king was. That's right. They knew how much he had. That's right. And for him to give it, it was like, Solomon, you make your own. Right. Right. I'm going to give Lord what I got. Right. But for the, con- the uh, assembly of rulers, the symbol rulers gave in gold, they gave $38,796,800. In silver, they gave four million seven hundred and forty one thousand three hundred and fifty, wow. with a grand total of one point three hundred and two billion dollars. Now, now I'm listening to all of this, and and I, and I think it's important for you listeners to to not to miss this. Yeah. All of this that David gave, mm-hmm. he received it. From God. From right. God. Exactly. So a lot of folks hear that scripture that everything belongs to God. Mm. Yes, sir. Really don't believe that. Mm-hmm. 
But I want you to know today that God, God has everything. Everything from heaven to earth belongs to God. And if it's anything that you need, God will give it to you. Mm -hmm. But David, as a father, uh -huh. was talking to his son, Solomon. Right. Yeah. So one thing, <clears throat> we as parents... We That's as right. grandparents, yeah, you're right. we you need to teach these young people you're the right. importance of giving. Of giving. You're right. We don't need to go to work every day mm. and, uh, and, and and make it seem like we're getting our own self up for work. Right. right. We're driving our own self, protecting you our preach. own self on the way to work. We're paying our own self with our own money. Yes, sir. We got to let them know from a young age what he was trying to teach Solomon was that everything you see daddy doing Daddy ain't doing it without Big Daddy. Without right, Lord, sir. He said, so you need to understand that because Big Daddy is the one who really helped your daddy, what I'm going to do is give back to him. Yep. And he was training Solomon, and he did it in the presence of the assembly. Yes, and that yes. is what motivated them what and motivated. encouraged them and challenged them to do the same. To do the same. And so here we are, King Solomon, those who are on Facebook, yeah. we have an opportunity to give back collectively and start a party. All right. But we got to teach first. Okay. Correct. And we got to make sure that we tell the truth that it's not on our own accord, but it's only by the grace of God that we have these things. Any final thoughts? Time runs I up got fast, do don't it? <laughs> yeah, it do. It do. Time we have. So I think one of the most important part of this is that David relinquishing his assignment Amen. to his son and to the people. Because like I said, man gets caught up in physical man, that person being Correct. there, being that leader. So the, the last verse I believe is so important because he said, our Lord, oh Lord, our God, all this store that we have, we prepared a building for you, a house for thine holy name. And the importance of that is to let the people know that he's not going to be just with me. I'm, I'm, I'm building a place for him to dwell with you. Because that was a significant thing that he said, a house for thine holy name. That means that, you know, the Lord lived in Mount Sinai. That's right. Okay? Uh -huh. So he's building a place now. The Lord gave him all the dimensions and all of that, what was supposed to be in there. He said, but I'm leaving it for you, for Saul, you. for you to do in the name of the Lord. And he said, because of that, that means that Zion now, this, this place, has become Mount Sinai for them. Let them know that he ain't going with me. The Lord is not going with me. I'm going where he is. That's right. But he's going to be here with you, the glory and the majesty which was revealed at Mount Sinai. I'm now transferred to God's new abode, wow. which is going to be in the temple that you're going to be in. So I that's like more. I, I like it. You didn't I know we ain't got but <laughs> I know we ain't got but one minute. Seconds, one up, one minute. On. But that's all. This is all I'm gonna say. Okay. How he said, "Well, we give thee, but thou own whatever the gifts may be. All that we have is thou alone. A trust, O Lord, from thee. All I got to say is trust the Lord. She just gave you the numbers, and I already said, give it all. Give it all. Amen. Listen, we, wow. we, we really uh, enjoyed uh, having this opportunity to uh, study the Word of God with yes, you. Yes. Uh, we pray that you were blessed tonight. Uh, we want to encourage you to continue to tune in. Yes. Uh, King Solomon at www.kingsolomonnlr.com. On Wednesday nights, you can stream live Bible study. This Sunday at 10 a.m., we're going to have live worship service. Right. It's an opportunity to be a blessing and give back to God. That's and so correct. we hope to see you in person. If not, once again, tune in at www.kingsolomonnlr.com. That's it. Y'all know the drill. We walk, we by, walk by faith, faith and, and not by, by sight. God, God bless you this day and always.